is very important. It gives uh, freedom. We are not in uh, some policy or some rigid frame. My name is Anissa Ng. Um, I come from Hong Kong. My Chinese name is Ng Yan Qi. Yan means joy, happy, and Qi means kind or mother. I think my mom hasn't expect me to do certain professions. Probably she would just like me to be happy, uh, bring happiness to the family. Since I was very small, I already like paintings, drawings, and before I go to kindergarten, I always take a paper, pen, and draw everything. But I don't think I will become a professional artist because in Hong Kong, you need to have a job to pay the bills. So what I'm thinking is I will have a job and then in my leisure time, I will keep paintings and drawings. My father inspired me a lot. He likes many things. He likes music, he likes taking pictures. But what he do is like he has a job, and then in the weekend, he'll go around Hong Kong, take pictures. <laughs> After I graduate from the school, there's an opening in the Japan Airlines. So I go apply, yes, I become a flight attendant in an airline. Then I can manage to have my day off to learn paintings. I met the, the very famous watercolor painters in Hong Kong, Gan Mei Tin, Lo Si, Mei Tin Khan. And so he allowed me to attend his class in a very flexible schedule. So he opened my eyes and he teach me not only art, but how to uh, be a good person. I studied under Gan Mei Tin Lo Si for six years. And my teacher told me that, oh, Anissa, you think quite well. You got to prepare for your solo show. But I take it very seriously. And I go to apply for a venue at the um, Hong Kong Art Cultural Centre. They have a big gallery, over a thousand square foot. Very well, luckily, they took me in. So I start to develop my own watercolour style. For the, my show in Hong Kong, my mom every time will be there in the opening. Every mother, my mother probably would hope me to get married, have a family, have kids. And um, well, she mentioned sometimes, she said, oh, you are old, you got to get married. <laughs> but I do feel she, give, she gave me a lot of freedom to do what I like uh, since I was very small. And one time when I am in the gallery looking on in my paintings as an audience, in one thing just try me, why I paint this? I feel it's not enough. I have more idea things inside my head and I want to put it in the paintings, but it's, this painting is not strong enough to tell what's about myself. Maybe I need to go back to school. And that's how I come to New York and get to the school and study over there. In New York, we always need to go to see shows. So I remember uh, one time when I saw Anshel Kufus show at Gagosians. I saw the Anshel Kufus huge canvas and um, it's black. It's more like a half installation painting. You see something on the canvas that it fell down on the four of the gallery and is included in that work. And I think it made me think outside the canvas. <laughs> Quite many artists that I like is coming from Germany. How about going to Germany? <laughs> and then when I'm studying in Germany, I met a very, very good teacher. She actually changed my everything. <laughs> um, her name is Professor Marianne Eigenherr. When I was in Germany, I started to make my first installation. I told her one day, and so she said, okay, go ahead, try. And that is my first object. Um, I studied uh, under her for like a year in Germany. I feel I can bring out more what I'm thinking, what my concept in my head and heart into my work. And then in 2007, I start um, to do a series of paintings, which is related to the identity identities of Hong Kong. Um, those paintings are all women dressed in Chinese costume, 
with a Queen Elizabeth rough collar. They don't have face. Um, so it's kind of like uh, symbolized the last hundred something history, the colony history of Hong Kong. History is a very complicated, very huge thing for me. Art is a very pure thing. It's a beautiful, very pure. And so I don't want to involve too many political things in it. Um, right now, actually, I am preparing an installation for a show opens in September. Um, the title for that work is called Live for Death. Um, it's like, to me, it's like by the time when you're born, you uh, start dying. <laughs> Yeah, death is not the, 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 the things that happen in the end of the life. It actually is a long exist, existence uh, throughout life. My father passed away when I was like 21 years old. Um, that was quite unexpected. Um, and then I realized that the people that you love will gone suddenly. I think the very happy things that I do when I have a show and people come to see my work, if they can tell what is the message. Um, I can sell some work, but not a lot. <laughs> um, but to me, I'm very satisfied for what I'm doing. You don't need to limit, oh, I'm Chinese, I need to paint like a Chinese, and just free of any cultural border. <laughs> There's no border. <laughs>